Steve, how hard has it been to keep the spirits up after the disappointment of last weekend? Yeah, it's been, it was disappointing, um, I mean, uh, weekend, um, but we've got to put that behind us and look forward. Um, we've had a bit of a team building session this morning and uh, it's sort of lifted everyone and, and everyone's smiling again, which has been great. I gather you've been out uh, sort of scaring people on the streets of Ealing. Tell me a bit more about this team building exercise. Well, we've been, uh, we were given a task where we had to uh, head off and, and find, get photos with certain um, people from more ranges, from tall to short people, to um, um, a person least wearing the most clothes. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was, it was quite daunting because uh, not everyone can just go up to anybody in London and talk to them and ask for a photo. <laughs> I'm sure you could. You're a very, very outgoing, affable chap. I did. Uh, I did finish the, um, uh, the all the photos and I got I got the task done. Uh, my group was uh, Jacobs, Lemmy, and Horton. So um, friendly people and eye catching chaps. people. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the rugby. One worrying thing is that whilst haven't scored a try in the last three games and haven't really looked like scoring one, how much of a concern is that? Yeah, I mean, um, we're, we're just trying to find the right balancing combination at the moment, especially, um, I mean, we've got, um, you know, Flutie coming back with Dom and their combination is getting stronger by each game. But I think the forwards as well, um, now that we've tweaked the game plan a little bit, I mean, the forwards have got to interact with the backs a little bit more and start um, start playing with us and, and doing little moves. Yeah, how did you feel in those last few minutes of the Saracens game? I mean, it was forwards, forwards, forwards all the way. Uh, but under those circumstances, in those conditions, that probably was the only way to try and get a bonus point try by then, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. In those conditions, I mean, um, going wide, you do run the risk of, of, I mean, losing the ball, but we don't, I think thinking like that, it's, it's a negative thought straight away. So keeping it in tight, um, you know, we're, we're going to play the, play the uh, percentage and keep it in tight and hopefully, well, we were looking for a try. So certainly those conditions must be particularly frustrating to guys from your part of the world. You want nice, clear blue sky, bright sunshine and firm grounds and we didn't get any of that at the weekend. Yeah, I, I think that's the uh, big difference between the northern and southern. I think when you watch the with the Super 15, you see, see the boys look a lot more skillful. I, I don't think they they are skillful than the guys up here because it's just the weather is the difference and it's the main factor in in the way the, the two styles are played. So um, you know, when the sun comes out, the boys are throwing the ball around. I mean, we can't use that as, as an excuse, but. Sale this coming weekend, obviously Charlie Hodgson is their key player, isn't he, as always. Snuff him out and you've got a good chance of winning. Yeah, definitely, but I think uh, they've got, they've got a, a few other good players um, in the centres of Raw that take the pressure off him and allow him to play his kicking game, so hopefully we can get in and put some pressure on him. A win this weekend, do you think that could be what's needed to really sort of set up a late surge? Because despite the bad run in recent weeks, still only about six points off fourth place, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I mean, that's all we need. We just need to, um, you know, start, start playing together as a team and, and looking forward. And just we just need a win this weekend, hopefully, and then things can start gradually building up from there and snowballing into a few more couple of wins.